Hi everybody. It's Diane from Diane's Diamond Painting. So I had just unboxed a Chuck Pinson and which I forgot to say it only came out on August the 14th, so it's a brand it's the last actually one that Diamond Art Club has put out. So it's brand new. And I'll show you this again. Here's the picture. And it's called Sanctuary from Chuck Pinson. It's beautiful. It's a 69 by 51 and it's round and it's got four ABs. Ooh -hoo -hoo. So I said I was going to kit up. So I said, well, I'll show you a bit of the way I kit up. And for those of you that have never had a DAC before, Diamond Art Club, um, this is a sticker. And some people keep uh, logs. Oh, by the way, I forgot to ask how you're all doing. Sorry. I hope you're doing good on this August the 26th. Um, DAC sends you a sticker. You can peel this thing off and you can put it in your log book with your start and end date. And these lovelies, look at this. They're little stickers. So you can just put them on your containers. So, and with Diamond Art Club, if this thing will focus for me. Will you please focus for me? There we go. With Diamond Art Club. See, this one is 310. Any number below 150 means it's an AB. So now, since my last video, I have cut all my packages apart, put them in numerical order, so I can quickly show you the ABs right now. See how that sparkles more than this one here see the difference so an a b means aurora borealis so they've added this sheen to the top of the to the top of the drill to give it more shine so our four a b's are this like pea green my call it this really nice orangey red See how that just, oh, look at that. And a tiny, tiny bit of this orange. I wish there was a ton of that one. And then there's this, our white. Yeah. So, no, I'm not going to keep you here forever watching me get up. But I'm going to show you how I start. So I have this. People, um... I believe the first person to put this kit out, now there was a, a cover, actually. Hang on now. <laughs> I have a sticker on it. Shiny, she has a, she makes um, drill trays and all kinds of other things off of, re, uh, out of resin and uh, Etsy. But here's this cover. You got two snaps. Take the sucker wherever you go. It ain't gonna come apart. But this is a fake, oops, Elizabeth Ward, right? That I got from AliExpress. And as far as I can tell, it, it's, well, I've used it on other ones. Actually, I have three, you know, can't have too many. And um, it's, it's just as good quality. Like you have the, the big mama here for a lot. And it just flips up here. The top actually will come out. So if you had a lot, you had to put back down in there. It just goes back down. Click. Bing. So what I'm going to do first though, is I'm going to take these three big ones out and just put them here. Because <clears throat> what I do, if you can uh, see that good, let me see. Let me see. All right, so you see the symbols? 
So when I'm doing mine, it's nice, nice symbols too. They use the numbers and alphabet. They don't use any, well, they use some, you know, some little silly ones, but. Now this H might give me a little bit of a hiccup because I have bad eyesight, so. But I do use a light pad too, so. The aid. When I kit up, I'll put them in numerical order first, like one, two, three, four, whatever. Then I'll do the alphabet. And then I'll do the symbols last. And I usually just put them in order by whatever the number is there. Might sound a bit wanky to some people, but I got a little bit of OCD. So that's the way I like to do it. So let's just do some of uh, these, do these like kits and a couple little big ones. So I know these are not going to take a big kit. They're not going to take a big uh, container. So I just take this little baby. Oh, you might squishy at me. But look, it comes off really easy. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong on video. Now, what I usually do, I forgot one thing here. Oh, bear with me. Please, ladies and gentlemen. I usually put my tray here. Now, I just cut the corner off because what I'm going to do when I save my drills especially AVs hello yeah so they're all out I will save these packets so it's got the number 100 on it I don't know if you can see that oh there we go so it's got the number 100 on it. So I will save that. See, you got your one. And on the canvas, you'll see one. And this is its DMC number. And I just open it up. Let's see how big of a mess I can make. Because sometimes that happens. I just find it's easier to put them in a tray and then just put it down there. So what I was saying that I will save these packets because why not? They already gave them to me. They got the DMC number on them. And um, I don't have them in a system yet. Like some people have boxes, systems and stuff. And, why not? So I'm looking for number 103, which is, boy, God, I just don't want to focus very well tonight. There you go, number two. But you get the drift. I know this, this is not going to fill up a big container. Like, these containers are deceiving. They will hold a lot. Smush them down. And they come off the, the containers very easily, actually. There we go. Snap. And actually, I'll show you this, too. Take these out. See, they have ridges here. So your container's not going to go all over the place, because that just drives me crazy. I just laid them there. So again, and what I'll do then I'll put the when I'm finished with them all, I'll use I'll put the drills back in the tray when I'm got my com canvas completed, and um, I'll just uh, storm away in the, the bag that actually the drills came in. Waste not, want not. My mother always said so. That's what I'm doing, mom. And. Um, I'll just store them like that so then I know what kit they came from because the plastic bag that held these drills actually has the name of the canvas on it. Snap. Did you hear that? Snap. 
and uh, it has the name of the canvas on it. So therefore, I know that, uh, say I frame this without a glass in front of it, and had it hanging up, and all of a sudden one day you're walking by and go, holy smoly, there's a drill missing. Well, right now I could just go back through all my stuff and, uh, oh, there's one left in there. Go back through all my packets and I could find the uh, proper drills for each one. But with that being said, if you are saving your drills, you could like put them together like DACs or let's just open this up. Oh, I'm put at this. See that beautiful shine? Isn't it gorgeous? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I'm just getting a little bit crazy. Oh, see, there's one in the box. Actually, that's from another kit because it's not shiny. So, that's in the trash tray. Which, uh, speaking of trash, uh, DAC has very little trash. Now, so this bag, okay, so well, I should show you that too. So, like, when there's only a little bit, this here, see the difference in the sack? So, DAC will put the greater number of drills in a larger bag. But, me thinks that'll fit in there. But because we're not completely sure, I'm going to, now this one. I'm going to try, let's do it over the try. Yeah, let's do it over the try. I think that'll all fit in there. See? Yeah. Here we go. And that's 310. Now, right now, people, I'm just going to, uh, and this one here, look, see, perfect. So you got your numbers there, like that, and uh, this one's 317. I know that will fit now because the other packet did in the other one. And what I'll do afterwards, once I get them all dumped out, I will uh, I will arrange them in the order that I want them. Now, that's just a total... See? My last one down there. Never had it over my track. Um, I usually don't do it over the, the storage system either. I'm just doing that tonight for you guys. Um... It used to drive me crazy because I couldn't find my symbols and stuff. And I was listening to a YouTuber. And she said um, what she did was do like the numbers first or the alphabet first, whichever. And then she did the numbers alphabet. And then she did symbols that were like on the keyboard symbols and then other symbols. But what I'll do, see this one is a black circle. And I call this one the, I call this one the radiation symbol. Yep, that's what I call it. So what I'll do with these symbols, these containers, I'll just go five, six, whatever. Because I know to look for them like that. Because, I mean, I'm still looking for my symbol. And uh, I hope that makes some darn sense. But what I did also... While I was cutting all these packets apart, I went against my uh, legend here and made sure that I did have those all those packets because I know we all have stashes, and it'd be wonderful. Well, if you're not a YouTuber, and uh, I'm I'm a new one. 
If you're not a new tuber, I would suggest that when you get your kit, even though you, maybe you're not going to do it for a while, uh, even if you don't want to take the canvas out of the box, I would take the drills and your, hopefully you have a legend. Some companies don't offer a legend, which sucks, so you'd have to actually take your canvas out to look at the side to make sure you have all your drills. Because if, I mean, maybe you've got enough canvases that it's going to take you a couple of years to do them all. But if it's two years after you bought it, I mean, there's no way that you're going to, um, I don't think, uh, replace your drills then if they missed drills. Or sometimes I've seen uh, people open up kits on YouTube and they've gotten the whole complete wrong bag, like everything. They've ordered, say, a kit for Adam and then the drills belong to a lion scene. <laughs> Just for instance. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not going to keep any longer. I'm going to go and uh, fill this all up with drills. And I hate doing it, but it's got to be done. It's a necessary evil. Anyway, once again, thanks so much for uh, dropping by and seeing me. And I love when you all come along. If you have any questions or concerns or something you figure I left out and you want to know, just pop me a question in the comments down below. You'll find it in the comments down below. And... Um, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And hopefully the next time you see me, maybe we'll do a whip and chat. I have never done one yet. But uh, maybe we'll do a whip and chat with that uh, Chuck Pinson Sanctuary canvas to see how the heck I'm doing. All right. Good night, everybody. Love from this Canadian in Belgium. Bye. Back again, it's Diane, and I have finished kitting up for the kit sanctuary by Chuck Pinson. So what I was trying to tell you when I was showing you my kitting up part was that in the end, we have, here's the bags that they all came in, right? And we have sanctuary right there. So I put them, all the empty bags back in the sleeve that they came in. And when I'm finished, I'll pour them all back into the individual baggies. Packets, I should say. And then I will just tape them shut and put them back in this bag here and store them away. Until I figure out how to do some kind of system and put all the colors together. So, yeah, I use my kit here. I'm doing a one hand thing here now. Got all my nice colors. And down here, of course, are the one I was say. They don't want to do any. Nope, it just refuses to want to. Zoom in for me. I don't understand it. Let's see. Well, that's better. Let's see right here. We have our ABs. Yeah, the first ones. But you can see, you can see the difference on the green and orange to the red next door to it. How they sparkle. Yeah, they sparkly. So that's everything kit up for uh, Chuck Pinson. And in the end, I hope that makes sense how I store my drills when I'm finished with it. And I'm good to go for September the 1st for the chuckle along. Thanks again, everybody. Bye and have a good evening.